Thank you, Jerry. Tonight, the attacker's loved ones are among those shocked by his actions. Moments ago, the family of Arthur DeRosa spoke out, apologizing to the victims, but also defending his character. We are deeply sorry. Prayers are going out, Prayers to, are going well. out to them as well as we understand what they're going through. Right. But it's the same way that what we're going through. The neighbors also tell us they never suspected he was capable of such violence. Our in-depth coverage of the tragedy in Taunton continues live now with Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright. Arthur Justin DeRosa often went by his nickname AJ. His family tells me that they too are trying to wrap their heads around this tragedy. Those who knew Arthur DeRosa say he was a loving father to his two children and very close to his family. The 28-year-old often visited his loved ones at their house on Myrtle Street in Taunton. Tom Shana lives down the street. He's a good guy. Very polite. Played with the kids. Uh, helped his father holding the ladder. He wouldn't go up the ladder. DeRosa's family members gathered to grieve Wednesday afternoon, giving hugs and wiping tears. An off-duty sheriff's deputy shot and killed DeRosa Tuesday night after authorities say DeRosa killed two people and injured five others. They've got to be devastated. Dev I heard them, some people out there crying last night. DeRosa's aunt tells me her nephew had a mental health issue and that loved ones tried to get him help. The Boston Herald quoted DeRosa's father and sister, saying he suffered depression for years and was suicidal and that the devil tried to make him do things. The community is now struggling to make sense of the violence. I couldn't believe it. You know, just from what I know of him and the people, I, it just... I can make no sense of it at all. By all accounts, DeRosa cared deeply about his children. In fact, authorities say he was at his child's soccer practice just moments before he left and began his deadly rampage. I'm Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News. Last night's attacks came, uh, came hours after the suspect, Arthur DeRosa, was released from Morton Hospital. He had checked himself in Monday night at the suggestion of family members. His family members spoke just over an hour ago, saying DeRosa was no animal and, like investigators, were trying to figure out why he went on this crime spree. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is live in the newsroom now with more on what DeRosa's family had to say. DeRosa's aunt says she's grieving for the death of her nephew as well as the death of his victims. The family of Arthur Justin DeRosa, known as AJ, is apologizing in the wake of his deadly rampage. We are deeply sorry. I mean, I don't even know how much we can express this. The suspect's family says the AJ, who killed two people and injured five others at two different locations in Taunton Tuesday night, is not the same AJ that they knew. Bottom line was he just he snapped. snapped. DeRosa's family says the 28-year-old was depressed and had suicidal thoughts. He said that he needed the help. That was the first step. The family says he was released from Morton Hospital psych ward shortly before he began his stabbing spree. It's tough. We can't understand it. Never mind somebody. You know what I mean? DeRosa's aunt is pleading for understanding from the victim's families. We're not bashing them. You know what I mean? Like they've been bashing him. But I don't think it's fair. Until you everybody know. gets the story straight. Yeah. But like we said, at the end of the day, he was a loving father. He cared for everybody. Yeah. And he'll be sadly missed by all of us. DeRosa had two young children, ages three and five. His aunt says that he was a loving father who would do anything for anybody. In the newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News. And please stay with Eyewitness News as we continue to follow all of the latest information as it unfolds. Our coverage continues on Eyewitness News at 6.30 over on Fox Providence, where we'll have an extended interview with the customer who was saved by George Heath. Plus, there are plenty of ways you can get the latest breaking details from Eyewitness News online at WPRI.com and with the Eyewitness News app for your smartphone. We'll alert you as soon as new information comes in. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.